yeah, uh, Ariel Rodriguez and myself, Robert DeFazio, kind of co-designed uh, Skybox Studios. And it's the second floor of an industrial building on Elston Avenue. And we really didn't have much to work with. There were kind of like some hippie, like squatter type people who had set up in there previous to us. And they had a music studio, um, if you could call it that. And basically they had, you know, your regular drywall with holes in it and cables going through. Um, kind of ridiculous. So right off the bat, we had to scrap everything and, and create new walls and framework and a new, whole new design. So what I was so lucky about is not being bound by the pre-existing dimensions of what rooms we so happen to have. We had four equally spaced square rooms. Some of them would be more technically called rectangles, but pretty much flat parallel walls, perfectly symmetrical, which for audio recording purposes is just really bad. So what we decided is that we would take two rooms and make them into a control room, and that the control room would be by a significant margin, the largest room in the studio. And I'm really glad that we did that because it's comfortable and there's plenty of room for everybody. And it's also sonically a quality space. So there's a real great control room. And then just to the left uh, is a booth for vocals or acoustic guitar, and you can maintain eye contact with that person. Design was here made by me and by the help of uh, sound professionals and a designer. Uh, this foam here was uh, cut out specifically for the dimensions of this room and also was is actually a whole new different style as you can see up in the ceiling. Uh, these angles uh, actually absorb a lot of the sound and uh, helps a lot with our mixing. But I was pleased with the way it turned out. Ariel did great construction work. The hardwood floors are terrific. The walls are sonically sound and everything like that. So. It was not it was no easy task but the man he got it done.